Hey guys, if you're watching this video, it means you just received your remote tuning device from your tuner and or automotive company. In this video, we're going to walk you through the entire process of setting up your device with the TDN app and how to use it to scan, data log, and write to your vehicle. Let's get right into it. So step one, we need to download the TDN phone app. So I have an Android phone here, so I'm gonna to go to the Play Store and I'm gonna search for TDN, which is Tune Delivery Network. Here it is. So I actually already have it installed on my phone. If you already have it installed and you're going to use it, make sure you're on the latest version. So you can see here, I already have it installed, but it tells me there's an update. So I wanna go ahead and update it. And then once that's complete, you're gonna to go to open. It's gonna tell you that we need to turn on the Bluetooth on our phone and connect to the device. And the device we're using here is a private label RTD. So it's actually auto prompting me to go ahead and find and connect to this device. So I'm just gonna hit allow. So to start in the phone app, we're gonna to go to the tools section and choose RT, RTD plus first time setup. Then you can see here, it says, we'll set up your MPVI or RTD for use on this device. You should only need to complete this process once. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the prompts and hit next. Plug in the vehicle's OBD2 port and then turn the ignition on. So I have a RTD here with an extension cable plugged into the OBD2 port. I'm going to hit next. Make sure my ignition's on. Once the light is solid green, press and hold its button until the Bluetooth light starts flashing. So you can see we got a solid green light here. We're going to hold the Bluetooth button down. And you can see there it's flashing blue. Let off and hit next. And then you can see right here, it says Bluetooth pairing request, pair with HB tuners device. And I'm gonna hit yes, pair. Please remove the MPVI RTD from the OBD2 port, then plug it back in and wait for the green light. So we're gonna do that. There we go, solid green light, hit next. Now it's activating and synchronizing with the server. And it does give you a note, please maintain a good internet connection and allow the syncing process to complete. So if you can get the best Wi-Fi signal you can for your phone. And now it's connecting to RTD. You can see here we have a firmware update. This firmware update can take a, several minutes. So it's important that you're connected to a good Wi-Fi connection and you keep that connection and just let your phone go through the update process. All right, so we just got through the firmware update. So now that your device is in app repaired, you need to log into your HP Tuners account. If you don't have an account, you'll need to make one at this time. Okay, now that you got your account set up, you're ready to enter invite code that you'll get from your tuner. This is where you'll enter it once you receive that code. Once the invite code is accepted, you will see the tuner and or automotive company that you're working with show up under the link tuner section here. Now, if you've received an RTD with a product you ordered, such as a supercharger kit or an air intake kit, you might be sent a tune file automatically. If you're working with a tuner for a custom tune, the first step at this point is to pull a read from the vehicle. So the file you're reading from your vehicle is actually the stock file from the vehicle. This is the file that's gonna be sent to your custom tuner in which they'll build a custom file and send back to you. The first time you take the read, it could take up to 10 minutes. All right, so we're gonna to go to the little OBD2 port with the lightning bolt, and then we're gonna choose read vehicle. And it's gonna give me a prompt. It's gonna say, please make sure the RTD plus is plugged into the OBD2 port and turn the ignition key on. You'll need to keep this app open nearby the RTD as the, until the process completes. Okay. So now it's connecting to the RTD. All right, since we followed the prompts, it's now getting a read from the ECU of the vehicle. Uh, this sometimes it can take up to 10 minutes. So it's always a good idea to make sure you have good Wi-Fi connection. And if you're in your garage at home, go ahead and throw a, a battery tender on the battery uh, just to be safe. The read process is complete and it gave us a prompt here. It says, your vehicle tune has been read and sent to your link tuner. 
Once your tuner sends you a tune via TDN, you'll be able to use this app to ride it to the vehicle. So if we go back here, we're going to see we have the Volkswagen Golf GTI. That's the vehicle profile in here now. And you can see it has a restore file. So this restore file is actually the stock read from the ECM, and that will always be stored and cannot be removed from your vehicle profile. So five years down the road, if you sell the car and you return it to stock or you want it to be a stock calibration in the ECU, you can go back to this restore file and write it back to your vehicle. This has been synced and sent to your tuner. So now what we have to do is wait for the tuner to build the custom tune file and send it back. Once they send it back, you'll actually get a notifi notification on your phone to let you know that you have a new tune to upload. Once you get the file back from your tuner, you're just going to click on the file and choose the right vehicle selection and then follow the prompts and it'll write the calibration to the vehicle. So we now have the custom tune from your tuner loaded into the vehicle. The next thing we're going to want to do is, is get a data log for your tuner. So on the main screen here, you can just go to data log. And I'm going to go to the Volkswagen GTI here and choose the config that the tuner has, has sent and then go back. And now we're ready to data log. So it's easy it's as easy as hitting start. So hit start, follow the prompts, and it's going to connect to the RTD. And when it starts the data log, it's going to give you a little note that says data log has started. And then if this if this vehicle is running, the, the RPM gauge here would also be following. When you're out data logging, you can actually switch apps to something like Google Maps and carry on driving, as the RTD has standalone data logging built in. It'll carry on recording data, even if you're on a different app, as long as the TDN app remains open and you don't close your phone. So go do your drive cycle, whatever your calibrator or tuner asks. And then when you're done, hit stop. And then hit view and sync files. Go up here to your vehicle profile, so the Volkswagen Golf. And then to send the data log back to your tuner, you're going to hit upload. And then on your tuner's end, he's going to be notified that he has a new data log to view. And at that point, he may create a new revision, send it to you. Uh, you'll load it in and go back through the process again and rinse and repeat. Another cool feature of TDN is you have the capability of reading and clearing diagnostic trouble codes. So if something pops up, a fault code pops up or check engine light, you can go in here to the little engine symbol and go to read codes. Then it's going to let you know of any active codes or any stored codes that are in your vehicle. And you can actually click share and put in the email of your tuner and share the, the fault codes with your tuner or whoever you'd like to share them with, honestly. Here you can see we have all of our readiness monitors set and there are no active codes. So um, if there was an active code, we could clear it if we wanted to. What's great about this is if it's five years from now and your car starts acting up, you can use the phone app to read your fault codes. So most people have to go to AutoZone or O'Reilly or wherever and have them read the code and give you a printout. You don't need to do that anymore. You can just plug in your RTD, go to your phone, read fault codes and see what's active. And that will give you an idea what might be, what might be wrong with your vehicle. All these features like data logging and the fact that you can do everything from your phone are really what sets these products apart. You can work with a pro tuner wherever you are and get customized tunes that fit your specific needs and modifications. And keep in mind, if you're ever struggling through the process of using the app, you can always go to tools and there's actually a user guide. That user guide will walk you through step by step what you need to do. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for joining us.